Man, fasting has become popular in part because extremism sells. Like any type of like balanced, nuanced approach to anything doesn't really sell. Uh, everybody thinks that there's some hidden gem waiting around the corner and, and uh, you know, the more over the top the, the process, the better. And it's not to say that there aren't benefits to fasting, but really, if you're, if you're really honest and look at the science critically, all that fasting is doing is preventing you from overeating, period. And there is some interesting literature around calorie restriction and longevity, but it doesn't benefit all organisms. And what's interesting is it doesn't benefit organisms when they're fed their species appropriate diet. So most of the calorie restriction and fasting research that's been done that shows a really remarkable health and, and longevity benefit is in animals that are basically being fed lab chow type diets because they want to really control the protein, carbs, fat that these, these critters are eating. So it's laudable on the one hand, but rhesus monkeys are not biologically wired to eat lab chow. That is refined corn syrup and should they take refined corn syrup sugar, corn oil, and like, like, you know, corn particles and stick it together and put some vitamins in it and feed it to these animals. And you could really make a pretty credible case that all that calorie restriction or fasting is doing is protecting the animals from eating the equivalent of a junk food diet, which shouldn't be that surprising. Is it better or worse to eat less junk food, you know, and, and clearly it's, it's going to be better in that regard. So there's some promise around the notion of fasting, uh, maybe reducing our disease potential like cancer and whatnot. And I, I think it's interesting, but I also think people have gone way overboard on this topic. And if we can just figure out a way of not overeating, which again, could be a low carb approach, could be a low fat approach, but it needs to largely be a whole unprocessed food approach to, to really make that successful. But if we can figure out a way to not overeat if we lift weights a couple of times a week, if we go to bed at a reasonable hour, I think that you've derived about 95, 98% of everything you could get from a, a healthy diet and lifestyle. Mm -hmm.